Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Thursday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. We have two optional memorials today. One is for St. Jerome Emiliani, <clears throat> excuse me, who is a priest, and the other is St. Josephine Bakita, a virgin. Now, both of these are amazing saints. I would really recommend looking them both up, but if you only have time for one, take a look at the story of St. Josephine Bakita. What an amazing story of this heroic woman and the way in which she came to faith and then continued to walk faithfully with her Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive out the demon, uh, or to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the, the uh, children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this you may go, the demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. <clears throat> The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, it would seem that at this point in Jesus' ministry, he was desiring to have some time alone, <clears throat> some time just to spend in retreat. And so he left Galilee. He traveled up the northwest and went up toward the Mediterranean Sea in Phoenicia, the area that is... Uh, uh, north and west again of Galilee. Uh, and he goes there and, and finds a house where he can kind of relax and just have some time. But obviously, one of the things that happens is that his, uh, his presence is known. Now, this is not a Jewish area. This is a pagan area. Uh, this is a Gentile area. So, Word still has been spreading throughout that whole northern Phoenician area that, uh, that he is the miracle worker. And so soon a woman comes and, and comes to his house and asks and begs him to help her daughter who has a demonic spirit. She's got an unclean spirit that's possessed her. And so here she is, a Gentile, a Greek not a member of the, of the covenant. And she comes and falls as, at his feet. In other words, she subjects her, herself to his authority and, and, and humbles herself right in front of him and begs him to drive out the demon. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. Now, this sounds pretty harsh, doesn't it? And in a sense, what he's doing is echoing what would be the traditional Jewish response to her request, that she as a Gentile really should not be able to ask anything of a Jew that has to do with his relationship with God. And that's kind of what that's all about, that that idea that it's not right to take the food of the children, that's the children of Israel, and give it to the Gentiles. It's not for the Gentiles. God purposed it for the Jews. Now, <clears throat> with that, we see Jesus really testing her. Now, he does it again, not because he's mean-spirited. He wants to see what is in that heart. Find out what's in the heart of the woman that is there. And her response is marvelous. It couldn't have been any better. She replies, Lord, see, she again humbles herself in his language. She could have really reacted angrily, but instead she again humbles herself. Lord, 
Even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. She says, you know, I know I'm not a part of the covenant. I know I don't deserve it. I'm, I'm just like a, a dog under the table. I'll just take a little scrap, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to give. Again, a beautiful, beautiful response that shows her heart. She recognizes that she has no right to claim any covenant to have this take place, but really relying upon his mercy. And he affirmed her. He said, you know, for saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. The amazing thing is, just in her response, as she responded to Jesus in humility and just again in in utter helplessness and desire, at that moment that she uttered those words, the demon was gone. And so he tells her to go. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home, and there her daughter was just fine. What a beautiful story where we see again the love of God poured out to one who was humble in spirit. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, One of the things that can be a takeaway from this is that uh, always a humble heart is one that God desires in each one of us. Now, we have the blessing as Christians to be in a covenant where we can be confident to ask God for work to be done in our lives, in our hearts, and in our families. We have the right At the same time, we have to take into account the beautiful demeanor of this woman. We have no right to demand, claim, or to push, but rather simply to just humble ourselves, knowing that we have the confidence that we are there as children of God and that he desires to have us eat from the food on the table. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.